Zotac GE Force GDX 1080 Mini, most powerful graphics card for Mini ITX system. Zotac Company introduced a graphics card GE Force GDX 1080 Mini, the industry's first accelerator for systems in the form factor Mini ITX processor based GP104 in full configuration. The new graphics adapter will be compatible with handheld computer, e.g., HTPC with proper cooling and will be the most powerful graphics card for a compact PC until until something faster. Zotac GE Force GDX 1080 Mini, ZTP10800H10P, can offer the performance and features are identical to other graphics cards GE Force GDX 1080 processor GP104-400, 2560 stream processors, 160 texture units, 64 raster operations pipeline in the case of the GE Force GDX 1080 mini GPU operates at frequencies 1620 slash 1759 MHz base increased even slightly higher than the reference GDX 1080 the adapter is equipped with 8 GB memory type GDDR 5x whose data transfer rate is 10 transfer of s as for output the Zotac product similar to others, 3 DisplayPort 1.4, 1 HDMI 2.0B and 1 Dual Link DVI-D. To put the graphic processor GE Force GDX 1080 Form Factor Mini ITX, Lenovo had to develop a completely new, compatible with GDDR5X, printed circuit board, which is somewhat different from that used for the earlier card GE Force GDX 1070 Mini. The manufacturer did not disclose a large number of details about the novelty, but because it is unknown whether it is using a 5 plus 1 phase voltage regulator module, like a reference NVIDIA card, or something else. Anyway, the Zotac GE Force GDX 1080 Mini has 8-pin PCI Express power, 2 connectors SLI HB, like other cards in its class. Since the power consumption of the GE Force GDX 1080 is up to 180W, Lenovo also had to develop a relatively small cooling system, CO, for your card ZTP10800H10P. New with consists of an aluminum heatsink with lots of fins, three thick heat pipes and two fans. In addition, Zotac GE Force GDX 1080 Mini is equipped with the reinforcement plate, back plate, which can create both positive and negative effects. The cooling system seems a bit longer than the one that is used on the Zotac GE Force GDX 1070 Mini, but the entire graphics adapter hardly longer than 17 cm, depth of the motherboard standard Mini ITX. In any case, the most compact systems for game lovers have several inches of extra space inside, and the length ZTP10800H10P is unlikely to be a problem. Panasonic plans to show your card GE Force GDX 1080 Mini at CES and to start selling it in 2017. The company did not disclose the specific date of the appearance on the market as well as the recommended price, but you have to understand that we are dealing with a unique product of its own design, and therefore it is logical to expect that its price will be slightly higher than the reference card's NVIDIA GE Force GDX 1080.